All right, welcome back everyone. Let's get back to the Ultra Lazy Death World. Where we left off uh, just having set this up, this blue science, which is now being fed into the labs. Perfect. And that means we are very soon going to start making robots. Uh, I have prepared most of what I need for the oil processing here. Um, except for these parts, and also except for some circuits, uh, it occurs to me now. So, maybe the first thing to do right now is actually to set up a, a circuit factory. Where should I do that? Because these are all just green circuits and copper cables, except for these two which are also iron plates, which I might use at some point. Not sure though. Uh, I could put something around here. It's probably a pretty good match, actually. Just put a few assemblers right here. Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, sorry, okay, fine. Let's just build a few assemblers there, I suppose. And then after that, I'll go down here and set up the rest of the old processing I need, namely um, uh, for making uh, sulfuric acid, mostly. And uh, actually, what else? Oh yeah, batteries, of course. And those kinds of things. Uh, so, we're going to need a few more of these. I don't think... Or do I pull this one all the way down here? Maybe. Uh, probably not. No, I'll just put a few more of these. Probably don't even need a full perfect ratio here. Um, maybe I should reroute this pipe a bit. Or just do something like this. Seems fine. So then I can move that one there. And let's move these a little bit. I can squeeze in two of these. So then we'll have some copper from there. And like so. And then we also need this iron as well. Like that. And then we need just wires and... Yeah, alright, and I also need actually this iron for the other things. So let's actually do it like this. Uh, although that doesn't quite work. Let's see how we can do this. Because I will want this and that on the same belt. can just do this. I don't actually need to split that. Uh, place that with one of those, and now we can build things here. So, we make these. Also, these should probably be level 1 in some actually. I don't need them to be any faster than that. So these take input and drop output. And let's move this belt. Uh, 
And same thing there. And finally, the uh, power switches and speakers. And these are going to need a few more things. Oh, these also need sticks. Right. Uh, this also needs plates, which we can get from there. Gonna have to move all of this, actually. these as well. No route of iron, okay. And then let's see this. Funny how I got one of these, but none of these. Hmm. Uh, so now we can put those two there, and this one there, and there, and that. And like so. That should do it. Still only walls, I hope. Oh, there's actually a hole here now. That is a problem. Uh, let's go fix that. So this is what the back turrets are for, in case they breach. Right, advanced oil processing is done, which means we can start making those, but I don't actually have that science yet, or... No, actually, oh, yeah, I do. Wait, never mind. I'm thinking I need to set up the uh, advanced oil processing, but I don't actually need that to do this. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. Okay, these are now making things. I actually maybe should upgrade that, this one a bit to get it a bit faster. So now, let's see... Oh, actually, I don't have any oil refining 
plants in my pocket, so I need to actually go down there to reset the recipes. Before I connect these, let's make sure that I have the right piping. It is light and heavy. Okay, perfect. That is what I thought. And we can update all of these with that. Alright, now we need a water as well. And I did bring a few of these, so that's great. That in here, I suppose. Right, and these guys also need water. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna also need these to be correct, and they are not, so I need to redo all those pipes. That's unfortunate. And those, yeah, same thing with that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to come in there. Set this up as well. Maybe we can turn. I need all of this right here. This is solid fuel from petroleum. And right, this should have a wire on it. And this should have a wire on it as well. See, is this close enough? It's one tile too far away. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. So can I do this without having to place another power pole? Can I move this one? No. Um... Could yeah, that looks like it'll work. I could so do like this. Get that there and get that there to get all the petroleum in there, and then move that to there. all of this in there and no that still doesn't quite work uh, except I can do that yeah that's okay so then we have no wait still isn't correct uh, all right I need to move this that's the whole point of this there we go so now this one has a wire this one has a wire. Oh. And how do I do this? Because I need to place the belts in order to move. But I need to move in order to drag the wire.
There we go. It's one wire and that's two wire. So now copy those wires onto there. And right now I need to redo all these pipes. So it's going to be like that instead. And like that. And remove all pipes and underground pipes from here. And then this goes there. And then uh, there as well. Okay, I guess these actually don't need to go away. Wait, did I? Oh yeah, I did it wrong. I didn't hold the, sh hold the shift key. So there you can stay. Really? No, this is still wrong. Did I... Oh, maybe... Was this not wrong? No, this is wrong. I am confused. Uh, anyway, this goes there. Oh, whoops. tank needs to move again. Yeah. Uh, because I need the tank to be there. I'll just do that. That's okay. Wait, that actually needs to connect here. No, wait, uh, let's not do that. Let's get this away first. Then do that, and then there. So there, okay. Uh, now, let's see. Um, correct wrong. Don't have any fluids in these pipes, so I can just actually connect it. So, how did I mess this up again? Oh well. And these are heavy cracking. Electric engine done, robotics. So 
So that needs to go there, and that needs to go there. Okay, and uh, these are connected wrong. That is heavy oil, not light. Good thing I didn't connect these pipes on. So because that needs to go there, and this needs to go here. Wait. Why is that connected to... Oh, okay. There's something wrong here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that used to be water, I think. So there. And now I'm gonna need more um, wires. Well, there are plenty of them there. is wrong. Yeah, this needs to be there. There we go. And then we need all the water in, in there as well. I can soon also flip the flamethrowers over to light oil. That's all the wires I need, and now I just need to connect all the pumps as well. So, there and there, I think that's all of them. Let's see, there are four pumps total. One is connected, two connected, three connected, four connected, okay. some deciders. Can put 
two here. And those will do... If heavy oil greater than 5,000, then enable... Mm, what I usually do for these? Then enable light cracking. And this will have light cracking equals one. Petroleum cracking. No, wait, this needs to be. Yeah, right. Petroleum cracking needs to be there. And this needs to be light cracking. And then we also need one that does light oil into solid fuel. And one that does petroleum into solid fuel. And then, yeah, if we have more than 5,000 of this, then we do that. If we have more than... ...20,000 light oil, we do light oil into solid fuel and then if we have more than 20,000 petroleum we do petroleum into solid fuel. So this is now active, this is not, this is not, and this is not. That all looks correct. And let's see, we also need one more. Okay, construction robotics. Now we need one more condition here, and it is have more than 20,000 light oil so how do I usually do this so I need to turn light oil into petroleum when I have enough light oil and I also need to turn uh, yeah so it's probably it's gonna be just like this uh, this turns on petroleum cracking and this will be 24,000 set this to 15 instead So, that should be this pretty much done, except I also need to set a recipe over there. There, that should do it for this, I believe. Oh wait, I also need to do 
actually go do something with this. Such as put it into the furnaces. Might also want a buffer here. Just ride this, I suppose. So then this can substitute for coal when we have enough of it. This cobalt is broken again. It's broken there. Good thing I noticed that, and also good thing that we have this. And we prioritize from the right, and then we're also going to need to do something different up here. <laughs> and here comes the blackout. Uh, so I need to go restart the power plant. One thing I need to do differently is um, the coal supply to the military sites, because that is now pulling off of the uh, furnace coal supply, which is now going to be well solid fuel instead of coal. right here. This is going to need to change. Oh, and these are finally done, so I can get rid of them. not working. No input fluid. Oh. <laughs> I see. That would make it not do anything.
let's figure the coal out here then. Because this needs to no longer come off there. Instead it needs to have its own dedicated belt. Um, so we have that there. I guess I can just continue this over this way probably. So we'll have filter coal on that side. Actually maybe just run them parallel without a splitter at first. So we go there, we go up this way, we go there, we remove this. Uh, this comes there, this comes there. Uh, this no longer needs to exist either. This, however, does, but it needs to be fed by something else. This can go, this can go, this needs to stay. And then... Okay, so we'll reverse this belt. And bring coal in here instead. Something like that. Uh, so then we can have the coal belt come in here. Is that really on the cliff? Hmm. Let's put it there then. Yeah, I'm going to need more underground belts. Probably should just build robots first. And then just do this one with the robots instead. Yeah, I don't really need construction robotic or military science at this particular moment. So, yeah. Uh, let's just build robots instead. So then we need a space to do that. First of all, let's build some batteries. Which require... Iron, copper, and sulfur, curic acid, which require iron and sulfur. So, for one belt of this, I need, well, a bunch of those. Let's see, five. So I can fit five times fifteen, like, what's that? Uh, Sixty, seventy-five <laughs> assemblers, or camp plants. 
to make one yellow belt of batteries. Let's just see how many I need to make one robot per second. Because those, yeah, those are really not throughput limited. Uh, the limit is on these. So if I want to make one per second of these, I need 20, which means I need actually only two batteries per second. So two batteries per second requires 10 battery assemblers or battery cam plants. So let's build for that. Yeah, let's make it double, I guess. I have the space for it. And I'm not really going to use it for anything else, I don't think. And I'm going to need these batteries eventually. Or, or am I? What else do I need the batteries for, actually? I'm not going to use lasers. I'm not really going to build... Um, what's the word? Power armor? I guess, like... Satellite eventually. I might not actually need that many batteries. Because you don't need them for the sciences either, right? Productivity modules. Okay, I need them for this. Um, but that's just an. Yeah, okay, so I will keep those. And then I can split the same batteries off from there. Uh, or the batteries for the yellow signs off from the same thing there. So we only need to set this up once. Get rid of this. Uh, I think I want this facing north instead. Right, and these also need both iron and copper. So I could put these on belts in the middle. do and then let's see this will be the output Robotics is finished. There is nothing like overproduction. <laughs> you know, indeed. Welcome back, Systux. Indeed, there's nothing like overproduction. Uh, so, how much acid do I need for this? I need uh, 80 per second, which means two of these assemblers or camp plants. And for those, in turn, I need, uh, let's see, eight sulfur per second, which means four of those. So yeah, it's just two to one. And that's going to be sulfur. Those will produce four per second. 
This will produce, yeah, 80 per second. Good. And then these go into pipes. And then I also need iron here. And the sulfur all doesn't need any solid inputs. Is that good? That's probably good. So that's iron input. Oh, I guess I can just use the same belt here, actually. Do we need capacitors just for the satellite? Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. I, I don't need uh, accumulators either because I'm not going to use solar power. I mean, I could use them to smooth out power supply, but I don't really need them. So I think robots and yellow signs are the only things I need batteries for, actually. Uh, so then, let's see here. This needs to come from there. And it needs to be one space further away. I can just run the pipe like that. And a water pipe. I can just continue this water, I suppose. And then that water pipe also needs to go in there and in there. That should do it for the batteries, except I also need to connect the copper and iron input. Uh, I have some of both of those here, so I guess I'll just continue these two. So, let's see, we split this. And we split this somehow. then that way I can split it like this and there we go
then let's see the here. So the output will be there. The input will be there. And we merge those somewhere around here. That'll do. Oh, my out of power again. Huh. How did that happen? Okay. I'm not sure why that would happen. Oh, and I don't have enough plants probably no that's fine I could just leave it like this until I get the robots and then have the robots build it the rest of it yeah I'll just leave it like that Except I do need to build pipes and also this iron and copper belt. Whoops. Oh. Uh, so I did connect those up there. Okay. But I also need to connect them yeah, to this. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. There, maybe. Oh, right. I didn't need to place that, actually. And a few more. Some more pipes in this assembler, except I don't have power. Hello, Nox. Welcome back. Managed to really turtle in with flames <laughs> since you last caught the stream. Yeah. Yeah, the flamers do really help, especially with seven or eight tiles thick walls like this. That really does cut down on the the, the maintenance uh, requirements. So that I can focus on other things like building robots instead. 
instead of having to run back and forth between pillboxes over, uh, all the time. Only thing that can kill me now is overconfidence. Uh, well, for the moment, behemoth spiders can still kill me as well. It's going to be a while before those show up. But if they do, then that would be quite scary. Uh, but yeah, I will, with a bit of luck, unless something goes very wrong, I will very soon have robots now. So once I have the robots, then we should be fine. But yeah, we'll see. Guess I should actually connect to that coal belt back up, actually. Oh, wait. I... I probably didn't just... I just didn't connect the, the belt up here, did I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am an idiot. There's your problem. Let's just make sure this starts up again before I leave. This should be completely fine now, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I guess I should also reconnect the supply to the furnaces. Now that I actually have the underground belts, I need to do this. So, yeah, that one goes there. This one goes there. This one isn't quite long enough. That's fine, we can figure that out later with the robots. pick up more um, camp plants. Like I said, I can just let the robots do it. But I do need more pipes. Do not need more underground pipes though. Probably don't actually need to pick those up. Uh, I just need to make them. I should move this belt a bit.
Alright, they are going. Are the batteries producing? Yes. Okay, we have batteries. We're now on a lot of them. What's some? Enough to get us started with the robots. So, robots then. I need 20 of those. And half as many of these two. And I'm going to need more assemblers for that, I suppose. Uh, let's see. That is 13. Another 7. Oh, 7. And I need 10. And put down through there. Alright, actually now I need 2 belts in there. So battery steel plate circuits. So let's make one space more or two even. Worker robot speed, let's get some more of that. And there. And let's see. Make sure I get all these fluid connections right as well. Still 20, yeah. Whoops, wrong one. And uh, those need electronic circuit, engineering, and lubricant. I believe I can make those like this. And like that. And then those just need output on here. These also need electronic circuits though. So if I do like this. Maybe I actually can run this belt in between. Uh, let's see. Because those only need three and those need two times two, so five. So that's... 3 plus 5, that's 8. That's more than a yellow belt. Although, I guess these aren't actually going to be running one per second because they're only level 2 assemblers. Um, wait, that's... 4. 4 plus 3. Okay, so that's 7. So that's just short of half a belt of electronic circuits. Okay, so I can take those in from here. Yeah, I mean, that still works. So then I can move this in. Yeah, and then I can actually run uh, the pipe in between as well. Uh, almost. No, I cannot, because I need the inserters there. Uh, this needs the same deal as we did here. These are only 10 and these were over 20. Okay, so I don't actually need the second pipe assembler there. Hello, Beth Crazy. It's going well, I believe. We're, as you can see, trying to start building robots here. Uh, let's rotate this around a bit. Just 
don't suppose I can... Oh, I can do that, maybe? Oh, well, that fits pretty well. Move that in a bit. And that looks like it should be good, I believe. This needs... Yeah, this is all, everything it needs, and this also needs steel and batteries. So one of these will have circuits on it, it's going to be this one. The one that has circuits on it is also going to have steel. To keep the... Um... Actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? might be easier to just put the circuits there so I don't need to merge it with anything else. Uh, although I will have steel. Oh, steel coming in from here. So that steel needs to also come down here. So yeah, I want to do steel and... Yeah, probably steel and battery on the same, actually. So steel is there, battery is there, it's a bit awkward, but that's okay. So battery, no? Yeah, steel and battery and electronic circuit goes there. So now I guess I could fold this up a bit. Yeah, just do like that. These will only be producing one per second, so I don't need to balance the lanes for the output. Then let's see where we can fit this. Can I fit it in here? Looks like I can. Although I also want... No, I don't want red circuits here because I'm not going to make logistic robots, I don't think. At least I didn't last time. I didn't really miss them, so I don't think I am going to. So yeah, let's put it here, I suppose. And then we can have the robot makery up here. Anything else? I need to get the steel down here as well. So we'll run those parallel to all of those. Should be easy enough. And so this, that's the red circuits. I guess I should also put a tank for a lubricant. So this is going to be steel and I can't get it in like that. I have to do it like this. So that I can get it in there. And 
this needs to go over here. In there, probably. Just place another pole there. Stand this comes this way. And then let's see there and Oh, right, I need some more space. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Um, I'm not really going to need these walkways for, for much longer, so I'm just going to build it like this. And so there, and then the steel comes in here green circuits from somewhere maybe from there although that that can be completely consumed by these so it should have its it should have its own can probably just do something like this wait i'm gonna need how many three per cycle plus four per cycle so seven per cycle so i actually need quite a few of those in order to fully produce all of this. Uh, to be precise, I need three of these. Do I really need that many green circuits for this? Yeah, I need seven per cycle. So I need four, even. efficiently. Hmm. Either way, I guess it's not completely complete.
So the width is 11. And I need four of those. I find it a little hard to believe that I actually need four of these. I'm going to start with just one. go from there. So let's figure out the steel. I'm gonna split that there. This comes that way and goes down there. Needs to go a bit further and turn there. It's not like I need um, logistics robots to deliver stuff to me because I'm way too lazy to accept them. Yep, you got it exactly right. So then steel comes in here. Again, we need to... Wait, why is this... We are full on heavy oil. Is this pump is disabled? connected to that pole instead. Whoops. So, connect it like that. Now we'll go. Okay. Okay, we're 
we're going. And we're gonna have a blackout soon again. We have a bit of fuel still on the belt. Hopefully it's enough to... Uh, until this... gets back up to speed. Oh yeah, I should have some different conditions here. I should condition on the uh, solid fuel thing as well. This if we have more than 15,000 and this if we have more than 24. Flip those around and preferentially make solid fuel instead of petroleum. Hmm? Oh, we're not making either right now. Okay, now we're making solid fuel instead. Cool. Because yeah, now we have too much petroleum, so... If I need solid fuel, it's much more efficient to make it out of light oil. But if I have too much petroleum, then it's better to make solid fuel inefficiently out of the petroleum to get the petroleum out of the way. So it is less efficient to crack um, to crack light oil down to petroleum and make solid fuel out of that, instead of directly using the light oil for solid fuel. Which is why, if I have too much petroleum, I want to crack this down into petroleum and make it into solid fuel to get rid of the petroleum. Uh, but okay, so that should be hopefully fixed now. Hope Let's hope we don't get a blackout. I guess I could disable a couple of things to save some fuel. What's this doing? Yeah, okay, that's still quite a lot of fuel on the belt. Is this going to make it all the way? Is the question. Also, this should have a priority to prioritize the power plant. Let's see, that is 10 times 8 times 12, that's 80 times 12, that's about 800. 800 megawatts, or megajoules rather. 800 megajoule is gonna be 20 seconds. Oh, but I'm not using that. So, 800 megajoules divided by 8 is 100 seconds. So, yeah, this is gonna make it. Okay. This needs to be copper. This is the last piece we need for the robots. And that is going to go in there. And I might run out of belts here again.
Oh, whoops, they have broken. Oh, and that's very close to where I am. That is a bit scary, but also a bit good. Because that means I can quickly fix it. Yeah, you can have too much petroleum sometimes. Uh, in this scenario, it usually happens if you uh, need more light oil for the flamethrowers. Okay, let's rebuild these first. Oh, I saved this just in time. walls. That's fine though. These pipes have no more oil in them. Uh, that is an issue. Because this is broken. Did I deplete this? Oh yeah, I have depleted that reserve. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, should fix the oil supply to the rest of the base. Oil, 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 oil. And oil is storing up there. These have oil again. Okay. Oh, there as well. What was the turret getting damaged? Ah, whatever. Uh, go back here and finish the robot. Buildery. to see trains. Last time I did this I didn't use trains. Uh, 
That one needs to be that way, though. No, these all need to be that way. Because these are all inputs. But wait, uh... Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so I need this to be like that. So that this can output like there, okay. That's what I meant to do. These are both inputs now. And now I need batteries in here. Batteries are there. Do I bring them up and around? I think so. Yeah. through there and right out of belts just gonna steal a few of these some uh, to fix some of that copper con or steel contamination and is there one more belt I can reach and there's our first robot frame Oh, I know I already have these there, that's perfect. There's our first robot. And I have the robot in my inventory. So, let's see, what kind is this? Uh, it's one of those that will make Robo ports. I think that's all the room. Yeah, that's everything. Then we will have steel chest. That chest and that chest. Okay, and there's the first provider chest. So 
so now we can start bootstrapping everything else up from this. on the right side. Okay. So... Roboports... And... Then... You turn into one of those. Look, it's already working. I want maybe a hundred of those at most. Huh. Where was I going to output these? <laughs> Hello, Minor D. Can't I just drive a car or is that against the rules? That is indeed against the rules. Rules that I have set for myself, but still. Uh, yes, it is against the rules to manually drive vehicles. Riding automated vehicles is fine, but not, um, not driving them manually. That is one of the rules I put for myself. And now we can start upgrading all this. We can make this into a provider. We can place a roboport over here. Okay. It needs to be all the way over there, okay. Let's put it neatly in line, I suppose. That means I also need to make these into providers. I would like this one to stop repairing things and instead come back here. <laughs> because that is the one robot I have right now. So about this one... There it is, okay. And uh, now I'll put it back in. Okay. Now it's going to upgrade a chest or two. Well, one first. Uh, oh, I guess I also need to place one of these, actually. Where are you going? Oh, you're building that. Oh, that's clever. Right, so, in theory, I should not... Well, mostly I shouldn't need to move from the spot anymore. It's gonna be a while before I can act... before, before that is actually true. Uh, like, I might need to repair some things before... Uh, oh, whoops. Might need to repair some things before things actually start working. Uh, before I actually can not move anymore. But... Uh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Still doing that. Um, might need to repair a few things before I get this fully started up again. Or properly. Uh, shortage, shortage. This is short on what exactly? Oh, these. Ah, because this is wrong. Can these reach? Okay, so once this gets placed, uh, this will be able to reach there. Yeah, and also one more thing that I will eventually need to do, probably, is to go over here and place modules in some of these. Because I cannot do that remotely. Everything else in the game I can do remotely, except, except well, place modules into machines. But I can just place a machine next to my feet and do that. Except for these, because I can only place these on oil patches. So I might need to go s here at some point to put speed modu modules in here. Um, we'll see. Let's see. Okay, that is now constructed, which means I can remove that and replace it with this. And give these guys a few of those to work with. A few of those. Do I need that? No. Uh, where is the robot right now? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's deconstructing these. <laughs> Now it looks like it might be on the way here. Yep. So now we also need to place a robot board somewhere around here. Uh, I would have liked that to connect from there. Okay, here's what I can do. I can remove this. Place the robot board here. Move that to there. Put that there instead. I really want this to be like that, actually. And robot and... As long as robot less than, say, 500. And then there. of deciders and let's see read robot statistics available construction was Z and T so as long as Z equals zero we go and as long as T less than 1,000, we go. These two connect there, and this goes when green greater than zero. So, now this should work to the point of starting oh I actually have one more robot here yay 
So now these should eventually get this up and working so that this will produce robots and automatically put them into the network for me. It would be faster to just go over here and fix it myself, but I don't want to. I want the robots to do it for me. Why is this pole there? Oh, I might have dropped one accidentally when I was fiddling around with putting it into the chest, I suppose. So let's see how these are doing. This sh uh, wait. It's doing these. Hmm. Let's get rid of all of this for a moment. And then let's see if these are going to build it. No, they're building up here. Fair enough. But they should soon run out of components for this, I hope. Because I haven't set up uh, providers for much of it yet. So soon one should come over and do this. Okay, but they're going to do those first. But okay, this one is going there. So that's probably going to fetch this one now. No? Maybe not. Oh, maybe it's going for... Yeah, it's going for the rope port. Okay. So it only puts bots in the network if you need more, but only to a thousand. Uh, no, if... Uh, it's uh, an, an or condition, ex essentially. So if I have... If all of my robots are occupied... Uh, it will build more robots, or if I l have less than a thousand robots, it will build more robots. Those are the, the two possible conditions. Okay, I'm gonna need to put a few more power poles in. Okay, now this one is coming. Oh, and I need more of those guys as well. The Fast inserters. <sighs> Just delete all of that as well. So that I can do this without it interfering. <laughs> it's cutting wood as well. So 1,000 is the minimum? Yep. Correct. I want minimum 1,000 robots, but I also want more robots if all my robots are occupied. Where are you going? There, okay. Where are you going? Oh, for these. Uh, this really isn't important right now. I can still undo this, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, now we're building this, it seems. And we're building this, no? We're building... What exactly? Oh, we are building this. Oh, okay. <laughs> it ran out of power. Okay, can we get these two? Whoops, this one needs to... 
No wait, it's this one. Never mind. What limit did I put here? None. Okay. Let's do 500 maybe. Or maybe those stack to 50. Either, either way, that should be good. Okay, that's one. Oh, I can't build that one right now. building that yeah okay now we're in business oh and well, we're gonna need to build those these two as well unless this might not actually get the circuit disablement unless the uh, decider is also built there we go now we have robots so now I can undo all of this stuff I did And we start properly scaling up. Whoops. Ports over here. Okay, that is going to cover the mall. I also need some more on the other side. So this goes all the way to the stack filter inserter chest. So then another needs to be around here. And I don't have any space for that. So we'll have to make a space for that somewhere. I guess I can make a space for that here. This and this and this and what else do I need? Pipes and underground pipes. Okay, so now we have fourteen robots. It's not too bad. Look like looks like an airport mall with all the pedestrian transport belts in it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I don't want to build this right now, really. It's not going to stop them from prioritizing the power poles, though. Yeah, at least I have more robots coming in. Maybe I should actually... 
build this in stages. So like that first. Now I need to make sure to not do anything else that I need to keep. Because then I would undo that. Look at that. Nineteen robots. Right, so, let's see. How long have I gone so far? Twenty-nine hours, almost. Twenty-nine forty-five. So I'm about, like, eight hours behind my previous, uh, the previous time I did this. But maybe I can make up that time and finish in shorter than 60 hours this time anyway. We'll see. It would be nice if I could manage to finish in less than 60 hours this time. Alright, so those don't have... Power poles and things. Okay, so I need this to get a power pole. Okay, we're building that one. That should unlock these. Okay, now those are connected and... Yeah, more things are happening up here. Yeah, these are getting dismantled. 23 robots. Now we're building this one as well. <laughs> there we go. Does Control X Shift work to create a blueprint? Yes, it does. At least I think. I, I know at least Control Shift C does. I'm pretty sure Control Shift X does as well. So also upgrade this chest for walls. It's going to be way outside of the network for now, but we'll fix that soon. Although I don't have many more roboboards, because I don't have any more red circuits, because I don't have any more plastic. Because I don't have any more coal, right. And I'm going to need more roboboards to build that. I believe now. Oh, this is actually within the network. Perfect. I will, however, need to upgrade this into a provider. Bots building their own mother, kind of creepy if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that what humans do? Well, not their own mother, but yeah, you know what I mean. We do that in the other direction. In 
indeed, says Stark, the factory must grow. Oh yeah, wait. No, I did this, so I'm going to need to redo that later. So I can do... What am I undoing now? Okay, there and there. So I'm going to make a copy of this. And then do the same thing again with removing all of that. And then I can re fix this. <laughs> Creepy machines do it? <laughs> okay. set up some uh, resource dump out or outputs as well for all of these things to get all these iron and copper plates and everything back into circulation instead of having them stored here Less than 20 robots, keep making them. That's good. I'm surprised this nest hasn't been a bigger problem than, than it has. Because it really hasn't been a big problem at all. Mostly thanks to the flamethrowers, I suppose. But yeah, I'm surprised I haven't had more trouble with this one. We are building them, so they are humans. Okay. <laughs> 35 robots. Oh yeah, now we have this. So that means the belts are now connected to the network. Uh, this one isn't. You're really surprised this, this close to walls are not a problem? It's gonna save you a lot of time in your future runs. Yeah, it's this kind of thing that you know, these kinds of, kinds of things that you learn when doing these kinds of weird playthroughs. Oh, I don't need this anymore. This is the blue science <laughs> sketch. <laughs> that is no longer necessary. building. Okay, and this is finished. Let's put a few more of those then. Say two more. Okay. 
Oh, we're fully backed up on everything. <laughs> Just because we have no coal. Because, uh, yeah, everything else is stalled because coal is stalled. Because everything is, else is waiting for plastic. What's the production tab looking like now? Okay, we're still producing ores, but that's about it. Iron plates. Yeah, we're not really producing much else. Why did I move this buffer out from there? Oh yeah, to fit a, a splitter in there, right. I guess I could move that back in now, although that would mean moving three 6,000 steel plates. That doesn't seem, sound like a thing I want to do right now. Now we actually have idle robots. That probably means I should place a few more of these. Still have idle robots though. Okay, now we don't. Good. Only one more belt to go there before the coal is reconnected. Is anyone working on that? Doesn't look like it. There it is. It's this robot here. One thing I would like is a feature to follow a robot somehow with a camera. to name the individual robots. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. Right, I should connect these up to the signal network here. some space, so I actually do need to move again. Okay, so let's see, we don't need any of that, we don't need any of, oh, we don't need that one, don't need any of that. Just need these and those and wire cannot reach. Hmm. Then I suppose we place one somewhere around there. Or maybe I connect it through there instead. That also works. So we connect it through there. And there, okay, so now I have the solid fuel signal here, which means I can put another condition here. And let's see. 
Let's get rid of this and replace it there instead. That way I can move this to there and put another there. And I will need to provide more of those in the network. And I will also need to reconnect those to the power pole. And then we will do, if we have yeah, more than 15,000 of oil, light oil, and we have uh, there less than, say, yeah, 6,000 solid fuel, then we will do one more of that. And that means I need to change the condition here. instead be if this is equal to two which means I one I have enough light oil to make solid fuel and two I have I don't have too much solid fuel so we'll set those conditions there and that should make all of this work a bit better Start an MMO map where everyone plays as a robot with one master player with broken legs. Look at them building. So now this is short on what? Oh, whoops. Ah, okay, I didn't mess this up. Wait. Oh yeah, these shouldn't be yellow. Should be one that way and one that way, okay. So this is a bit broken. Oh, maybe not actually, because yeah, the rest is just the robot frame assemblers. set these up or hook these up to the logistic network instead of having chest limits I probably actually want this one to be like 250 
The other one maybe should be as well. So when I need this, I need them in I need them in very high volumes. Let's do the same with fast ones. Filter ones can be a few fewer. I need those for train stations sometimes, but yeah, I think I just want to use um, stack filter reserves for that instead. So we can do that. Oh, wait. Disable. Then uh, turrets we want quite a lot of, but not that much really. Let's say about 200. Oh wait, and I should also wait with this one until it has been upgraded. So let's disable that again, actually. How many bots am I running? No pun intended. Uh, I'm running right now 50. Approximately. Uh, but I will run like several thousand soon enough. That makes sense. Okay, now almost all of these are working. Out full, okay. Item ingredient shortage. That is because I have messed this, this up. Let's just see how far this can self-heal before I need to fix that contamination. actually have space in here or oh, I I do actually I can put it like uh, this I put a trash chest for batteries in here
Is that... no? Okay, then it's not outside the network. Robots are just a bit slow, that's all. And I still haven't connected the coal anywhere. Right, so I don't actually want that splitter, I just want it like this. And then this coal goes this way. Oh, but I have plastic now. Oh, okay. But I stole those belts and I forgot. <laughs> anyway, this goes there. some of these walkways, because I don't really need them anymore. And we go up there and over. Get rid of those. Then there, and then here we can split this off like so, and here we're going to have a priority. Do we have a priority to the left or to the right? Probably to the left, actually, to keep the factory running rather than running the military science. But here, on the other hand, we will have input priority from the left to prefer solid fuel over coal for the power plant. And that is not a good idea to do that now, because that stops the belt. So I should do that when I have RoboPort coverage. Oh, but I do have RoboPort coverage. Okay. Then maybe I can do that. Robot count is rising. Are there any walls about to be breached? Doesn't look like it. Okay, they have breached through the outer layer here. Right, and these are not working because that is not there. I'm going to need to clean some of this up. can just do this. And then a filter inserter picking batteries. Actually, let's do like this. While there are more than four batteries on the belt, move those over into there. And yeah, that actually will work because it will preferentially pick from the uh, closest side. So that should work.
then at some point I will need to set that up with a power pole, which can be there. Oh wait, I'm gonna need that space for pipes. That's okay, I can fix that somehow later. Okay, all of this is built now. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't need this cleanup thing. Okay. a radar out here. Wait, maybe that's... Yeah, that's in the within range on the other side of the shore. So let's put it here instead. Alright, now we can continue making robot parts. Because now the plastic is back up and running. Oh, look at that. 170 robots now. Most of which are idle. Okay, let's have them do something. Okay, that is in place. Good. We can also just straighten this out. No, we cannot because I don't have RoboPort coverage here. But there's one more RoboPort. Okay, so I can expand RoboPort coverage. Can get rid of that. Do I need that walkway anymore? Ah, I'm just gonna place it here anyway. I've also been thinking I should set up automated ammo supply to these at some point. And I could, I suppose, do that now that I have the robots, except I don't really... Oh, okay, I do have a coverage out here. But it's not really necessary, they're not low on ammo yet. Now that I'm at robots, do I bother moving around at all? Not really. Not unless I really need to. Mostly I'll be just standing around here. From now on. Uh, okay, this one actually... Yeah, I can just get rid of that. I can place that dump chest somewhere else. I can also dump some of the stuff I have in my inventory now.
That reminds me, um, I should put up something here. Let's put it there. And then we need another power pole, which can be there, and I can get rid of that one. And then this needs to f a filter for only red circuits. Then we can deconstruct that. Actually, not yet. I want to wait until this is done. Okay, now it is done, so now I can deconstruct it, and the robot will move all those circuits over there. Yeah, welcome back. See, say sick. Welcome back. It's not enough circuits. Okay. So it turns out I was correct that I need more circuits than that. Let's put another as well. could also set up an assembler for uh, wooden power poles to make some use of all this wood that I'll be co collecting. forever. Wait. Let's also set up a recycling chest for plastic. Side of the logistic network, though. But it shouldn't be for long. So, okay, we have two more roboports. Let's expand coverage this way. Worker robot speed 2. Now let's move on to modules. It's probably the sensible thing here. Or maybe mining productivi productivity. Let's get modules first. So let's see, where else can we build another roboport? Uh, because I can build one more, yeah. I want to cover most of the base, first of all. 
So yeah, let's go up here so that I can have covered for the power plant. Also set conditions for these. Let's see, a hundred. No, ah, fifty is actually fifty are actually good for those. But let's do a hundred of these ones. Say ten cargo wagons. And we can do ten stations. Oh wait, that's not upgraded. Hmm. Just disable that then. Now I think it's time to finish this. We oh yeah, have 250 robots. Things are coming along. How are the red circuits doing? This is stalled because of not enough iron. Efficiency module. Okay, now this seems a bit happier, but still done it's still not getting enough iron. Can fix that maybe with a Better inserter. Yep, okay, now it's working full speed. to breach here. I have no walls in my pocket. Can bring a robot. That's good. We can probably bring a couple of robots as well. Yeah, that's also about to get breached. There are a few robots there that I can grab. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now there are a few robots here even. Take all of those. Um, yeah, I need the robot port as well. Well, I dropped all my solid fuel. That wasn't great. As well, while we're at it, uh, let's see how many ghosts are here actually. One thousand. Gonna need way more walls for this then. Uh, this is gonna get ugly, maybe. Okay, not too ugly. walls first of all. Oh, they can build two things at once? Cool. Oh, maybe that wasn't what it, what it was doing actually. Okay, looks like the wall is repaired, so we can rebuild that. Or replace that rather. Really I'd like to have a priority ghost feature so bots build that one important thing for first, yeah. Would be useful sometimes. get some mining productivity. And we need to expand robot coverage this way. That doesn't quite cover the wall yet. But I have two robots here, right? Yeah. So with that I can cover this entire wall.
<laughs> rather than the bots building everything except, for example, the one power ball that everything you're building relies on, yeah. Bots are dumb, yeah. Agreed. But at least they're trying. Hmm, I'm gonna need this to be upgraded as well. For which I'm going to need more red circuits. Yeah, which I don't have any of because I'm using them all for roboports. Wait, I don't actually want to deconstruct it, I just wanted to disable it. This one build a few things first. Ah, it's only one per chest, that's good. That should have, have all of this done in short order then, hopefully. Right, good night, CSEC. Thank you for the good luck. And uh, yeah, I will do my best to keep the nasty biters out of my base. Shouldn't it be too hard now that we have robots to repair all the walls? don't really need the walls to be quite this thick now that I have robots to maintain them. is now upgraded. Are there any other provider chests? No. Okay, when do we have even a few spares? So we can get this one upgraded too. Oh, there are three missing, okay. Where are those? Okay, now we're repairing that. Perfect. Yeah, now they're going to exhaust the wall storage, I suppose. Now I think I have enough robots to c 
connect these to the network. Now we have a few extras, so now we can re enable this. I think this will work to to do a um, battery trash trash chest or recycling chest. This will put on the right side, and then this will balance to make sure that it's always consumed. And then it go, goes in there. Still need more green circuits. Yeah, but I can't actually support any more right now with the copper input I have here. So, maybe it's time to upgrade the copper furnace. Uh, how many steel furnaces do I have? I don't maybe have any more, actually. So maybe we just need to make a few more. Now let's see if we can find those batteries, there they are. Let's move those over there.
See if they make it all the way. Yeah, it's okay. Nice. So now let's get some more RoboPort coverage up this way. Looks like those should connect. Yeah. So, as long as we have less than 10,000 walls in the network, keep making them. That's more than, than will fit in this chest, but that's fine. <laughs> We're all out of repair packs. Let's set the condition for that one as well. To a hundred, maybe. Now I think we can finally take this down and just build this instead. Maybe I should put that one down here instead, actually, so that I can have coverage for this chest of gates. So once again we are low on iron, which is in part because we're unloading too slowly here.
Oh, those don't upgrade into uh, smart or stack inserters, actually. anymore. That one can still be useful. As can that one. Don't really need this anymore. Don't really need this anymore. Sure that this only unloads iron ore. Does that not get any filter? Oh, there we go. So, okay, now we have a few furnaces, which means we can upgrade these. should also 
prepare a belt upgrader. Wait, uh, there and there. See, that is 24. So from there. All oh, right, I don't have the red splitters and undergrounds yet. Pasta Masters are called Pastayo, and you think I deserve the title? Well, thank you. <laughs> I do like the spaghetti basis. We're still short one Roboport. Because this... What? Doesn't have what? 45 of each. Oh, not enough gears. Okay. Right, I researched modules, so maybe I should start making those and using them. somewhere let's say here seems good Needs to be there actually. And then. These are there. And. There. So then this needs iron. Split one off there. And one off there. Put these two together.
That's not great, actually. Do have a bit of ammo in the network, I believe. Yes. Huh, 18, okay, not much. Maybe I should just put up flamethrowers here and not worry anymore about forest fires. Seems like a good time to not worry anymore about forest fires. Bots can place ammo into turrets? No, they cannot. Uh, but uh, what, what you can do is you can do stuff like this. So if I place... Oh, let's take that. If I place a... A storage chest with a logistic filter like this for piecing rounds. And if I make sure that I have only one of those in the entire network, what I can do is I can do like this. I can place that. Like so. And then get an inserter. And then I can deconstruct this chest that has ammo in it. And the robots will move all that ammo to the one with the filter. So this is kind of like cheating a way to get um, uh, requester chests without actually having requester chests. You can do it like that. But it only really works if you have only one of these in the in the entire network. Because if you have more than one, then I think it's the first one that you built that gets preferentially loaded instead. Anyway, it's useful sometimes. Like for these uh, recycling chests and stuff like that. Um, it's nowhere near as powerful as actual requester chests, but it can be useful sometimes. Um, yeah, these need to have filters on them. Same thing there. Oops.
Do I actually have more than 500 underground belts in the network? No. So... Oh, that's the other one, okay. Let's build those up to 200. Let's build these up to 2,000. Actually, 1,000 is maybe enough for now. Okay, let's get some iron in here so we can get these robots built. Get a deconstruction plan for belts. Primarily walkway belts. And all of this is walkways. Let's just tear it all down because I don't ever want to go there again. Same thing here. I never want to go here again.
right, I was about to set up flamethrowers here. Let's put them down here, I suppose. Like one there. Yeah, something like this. Sounds like they are destroying something for real this time. Where is that? Okay, that's here. <laughs> Where I was supposed to set up flamethrowers. Uh, okay, if they run into this, that should be able to handle it. Don't repair this, please. Do repair that one, but let's just just let these die. <laughs> so when are we going to get those robot ports? What's the condition on this? Less than 200, let's make it less than 100.
Well, so let's drop most of these. Most of this. shouldn't be very interested in doing much else here for the for now though. Let's make sure we get that roboport as soon as we can. Hopefully they won't aggro on the roboport. Can just kill them with the flame for the thrower, I suppose. Wait with this one. Now, can we get some rubber boards built? Nope. Just need three more gears to make this one. Survival Instinct told them you're about to get flamers down there. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, this one stole them. One, two, three, okay. that please. Also build this out all the way down here. Get more mining productivity. Let's make sure we don't get forest fires here. 
This one's too close to the wall. Uh oh. Okay, they're gonna destroy the pipes, but that's fine. Yeah, okay. We're fine. Day as in the flamethrower. <laughs> Why no forest fire? Well, because uh, it's. Well, for one thing, because uh, it's better if the biters path through the forest, because that makes them. Yeah, come in fewer at a time. And also, it absorbs pollution, so it helps in that way. Probably actually a good time to switch the flamethrowers over to light oil instead. Which is gonna be from here. Right, and here I probably actually want a pump to make sure I have good pressure on that. Uh, maybe even do this. Get rid of these two, get rid of that. That's not the one to remove. This is the one to remove. So maybe then... Yeah. Now I should just... Oh, okay, now we have... A mix of both. I'll just delete the crude oil. So there, now we are running all of these on light oil instead. Okay, this is still crude oil. Okay, there, I threw one layer there. Oh, they broke a pipe. Which means oil supply to here is cut off. Alright, this is built. Nice. Uh, these are still relying on turrets. But well, that's okay for the moment. Do we have more robots? We do. Three robots even. Uh, let's see what I broke here. It was this and this. I don't really need these anymore. Because I have those up here now. Speaking of which, let's place this robot port so I can have coverage of those.
Right, let's move some walls. Oh. I don't have any of these anymore. Okay, let's move some walls here. Do we have any here, actually? Nope. So let's move some from here. So that's about over 500. It's good enough for now. first because this is more important. Alright, but I don't have roller boards. Can pick some up though. Almost. And I need a few robots as well. Hello about touch. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. We have robots up and running, which means we now have fully automated defenses. Uh, at least if I have everything in robot coverage and actually supply them with, with walls and all that. Uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, so now let's get some robot coverage here. maybe gotta move, move this tank a bit I think and place a robot port there let's go do that first Actually, come to think of it, I can do this with the robots as well. Saves me from doing this kind of stuff and messing up. Uh, so, we put one roboport around here. That should be fine. We put in robots. We give them walls. We give them one, maybe two roboports. We make sure these connect. Yeah, that's going to need more than one. So let's put this one over. Let's see, how close does it need to be? Hmm. 
That should be close enough, I think. Give them a few power poles. Okay, now we have coverage there. All of this is covered, and we just need one out this way as well. About there. And then we can take down most of these belts, or all of these. Oh, whoops, that was the uh, upgrader. We can take down all of the walkway belts. Can take down these belts as well. then I'm going to need some uh, repair packs here as well. anymore either. I'll keep those two. Busy busy bots. <laughs> Sung to the tune of the hungry hungry hippo. Don't know that song. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're all a bit weird here I think. But I was French. Wow. <laughs> that is weird, yeah. Yeah, I am very not French. Not that that is necessarily the weirdest part of that dream, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see here, that's still okay. Oh, did I break this now? I think I broke this now. Okay, so now I can hop in the train and go back. Perfects. I 
think I should just bring most of this back. So what do I need to leave? Not much really. I can leave a few flamethrowers. A couple more walls. A couple of turrets, just in case. A couple of rails. Some power poles. Anything else? Let's leave a few rail signals too. And some radars. That should be good. Let's get back here. Let's move a few more walls. Wow, this is completely full now. So replace that. Oh, do I have stack inserters? I don't. Where's the blockage? There's a train. Oh, there's a train in here, of course. Okay. So. Signal there. Should be a rail signal or chain signal. Now I can actually set up the uh, kind of balanced uh, inserter circuit that I like to use. Divided by minus two. Min ah. Divided by nine. Come on. There. Minus twenty four. I'll put everything and Red wire output, and this if everything less than three, I think, is around what I usually do. And I need to 
give them one of those or a few. This also needs to connect like, like that. Yes, it's 24. Yes, it is 24. So we have the total div divided by minus 24. Yes, yeah, so uh, the amount in the chest minus the average should be negative, yeah. So why are all of these red then. They're all full. Well, I haven't connected all of them either. What does that circuit logic on the train loading do? Uh, what it's supposed to, uh, if, it, if it's working correctly, it is going to... Ah, okay, I see. I haven't connected the power pulse, that's why. Um, why aren't the power poles connected? Um, it's going to compute the average load in the chests and only load the chests that are are well, the least loaded. So as you can see here, um, these last ones are running now and this one should pick a few more soon once these get filled up. There, okay. So this uh, balances uh, between all, all the chests to make it faster loading, just to make sure that you, uh, you don't get all everything in here first and then uh, this only gets a trickle. You can do a similar kind of thing with splitters, but this is a bit more robust and a bit more compact actually. So now this is completely full. How are you doing, Iron Train? Uh, you are waiting to depart. Oh yeah, because I am blocking you. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me get out of the way. Let's resume making repair packs and engines. Oh, whoops. Uh, and I shouldn't actually move all of this. But, yeah, sure. And uh, let's go down here. And with a bit of luck, this should be covered by one Robobort, maybe. Or might be, I guess is the better word. So one Roboport will cover everything.
So, get some walls. I, oh, I also need robots here. Let's grab a few from the other outpost. Should be good. Got a few flamethrowers here as well. Pipes, a couple of signals, a couple of earth or com what's the word? Combinators. And that should be pretty enough. can take down a whole bunch of belts here as well. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that one.
That's why these haven't made any underground belts yet. <laughs> Thank God I finally connected that unconnected iron link. Yeah. Yeah, until now I hadn't I haven't had more capacity for smelting than three lanes anyway. So that's why I, I hadn't connected it. That and because when I started out I only had uh, three belts worth of miners. Hey, <laughs> not the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. Let's continue upgrading some more of these belts. Now let's see, are these making anything? No? Oh, because these are flipped around. There we go. Now these should start working. Okay. Right, and these need circuits as well. Still don't have coverage of this one. Do we have more roboports in the network? I do, okay. So let's move that one there. No, these are working. Good. Say one hundred gates.
Wait, why is this running? That should not be running. Yeah, this needs to be two. So that way, uh, I only burn light oil if I have too much of it. Because now I have too much solid fuel, or petroleum rather. So I need to convert petroleum into solid fuel. I should start this a bit earlier to make sure that it doesn't. I don't get an, an extra bottleneck before to make sure that these can properly unload. That is not correct. That needs to have a wood filter. Okay, and now these are going to be recycled into red belts. That's great. Why is this disabled? Did I set it too low? Huh. Where are all the other belts then? Oh, of course they're in here. Yeah, okay. That checks out. Recycled stone furnaces here.
So let's see. This is being held up by that splitter, it seems. Yeah, these are both held up by their splitters right now. Yeah, and some of the underground belts as well. Oh, I did put these off by one. <laughs> That's a shame. So let's see here then. These are easy to move. Just like that. I can easily move the power poles. Then I don't want to move all of the chests, just the ones on the edges. Oh, and I built these wrong. That's good. <laughs> this means I don't actually have to move this side. Although it's the other side that has a lack of space, I suppose. Yeah. So I would like to move this down one tile.
Guessing is there? Ah, I mined all the stone there. It's pretty good. Still have a small bit of stone there. Oh well, 40,000. Not a lot of miners though. Okay, so I'm gonna need to find another stone mine soon so that I don't run out of walls. But I guess I can take this one at the same time I take this iron. But I really need to get the Roboport production going so that I can start flame turret creeping across the landscape. But yeah, meanwhile I suppose I can make some module factories. Uh, let's see what we can squeeze in. Probably just do these three for now. And maybe not put these right next to where the biters would be coming from. On the other hand, maybe I do. Yeah, because I need to replace these with flamethrowers anyway. Now that is aligned. I guess I should realign this one as well. <laughs> At some point. It's not really a problem right now though. Oh, this is not connected. So, modules. Here seems fine. Speed module less than 50, maybe? I'm gonna need tons and tons of them eventually, anyway. Let's set it to a thousand. And these ones I won't be needing tons and tons of. So let's set those to just 500. And finally, the productivity modules. I will be needing lots and lots of eventually, so let's set those to 1000 as well. And let's also reorder these a bit, because what I need right now is primarily... 
Um, actually... I'll do a split, I think. Even split between them. So let's see, here's a 4 by 4, four balancer. Let's see if I can figure out a 3 to 3. Because that essentially just means I take this one and loop it back in, or 1 to 3, I guess. So this doesn't do anything anymore. Which means this also doesn't do anything anymore. Which means this can just go... No wait, it does. Doesn't it? Oh yeah, okay. So it does split that. So we can... Optimize that to there. And then we move that to there. And then we just have these like so. I think that should be a valid three to th one to three splitter. So then I need to order these. Let's do three of each, I think. So that's some red circuits, and then I guess I can bring some green circuits from here, maybe. Mm, that doesn't really need to be upgraded, because these can't support it anyway.
Ooh, six Robo Hearts. We'll name it that it's within attack, attack range, actually. So let's keep it away back. Okay, it looks like that is actually a perfectly even split. Well, this needs to be closer. Okay, now we have a couple of productivity modules. It means we can start doing stuff like this. Uh, like... Bring me... those. Oh, just one. Okay, <laughs> bring me that one as well. modules like so and then copy this and now it has productivity modules so uh, we replace that one with one of those and these two as well and same thing with a gear assembler Doing? Oh, are the belts done? Okay, this looks like it's being fully consumed. Let's continue this a bit longer. Oh wait, that's the steel. Uh, here. I 
upgrade this iron input as well. too far away. Um, because I somehow miscounted this now when I set these up. Can modulate this one too. As well as these. Basically all the things that require a lot of iron. <laughs> Now the bottleneck is the unloading speed here, it seems. But not really, this isn't full, so... It seems like I am mostly able to consume most of the iron I produce. This, however... This should be able to be con fully consumed in here. Do we have a red belt here? We do. Not splitters though. <laughs> Maybe I just don't need to have the priority on this. Maybe priority from the other side instead. That looks better.
How are the modules coming along? Oh, I have a few out there. Eight have been made of each kind. Okay, yeah, so this, this, this really is a perfect split. Cool. Now you're consuming all of this iron. That's great. Ten robot parts. Right, and these need to be switched over to light oil, and this needs to be fixed, and this needs to be fixed. Okay, that's not broken. Thirty-four, twenty. Okay, it looks like it's flowing now. So these need to be on light oil instead. We get from here. And I think these flamethrowers should just eventually use up all of the remaining crude oil and it'll be fine I believe or actually I can just do this and as soon as, as, soon as that connects I will see it I, here I think So there we go, those are running on, on light oil now, as are these, as are these, okay. slightly so that I can cover the plastic recycling chests with this. Yeah, now it might be about time to start flamethrower creeping. But I don't think that'll be today. I think this is probably a good time to end the session and continue another time probably tomorrow. Yeah, we've gotten a bit of good progress here. Gotten robots up and running, primarily, is the big one. Oh yeah, and here are a couple of defenses I don't need anymore. Um, mostly the, the flamethrower turrets, which can be a bit dangerous. Um, the gun turrets are good to have as a backup, but the flamethrowers, not quite as much. Let's just patch this up. The 
minus two. Yeah, this is still not covered by flamethrowers. But I probably will just push this out instead. So yeah. Now let's see how our iron is doing. No, okay, this is running full speed now. So where is all this iron going actually? Because we're consuming all the iron, but all of these are backed up. Where is the iron going? Is it just going to back up further and further, I suppose? I guess so. But yeah, so uh, the next thing we're going to need is just more red circuits. And then uh, start expanding the borders and taking these for some more iron and probably get some more copper soon as well, but maybe this is fine for a while. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it would, would also be nice to connect these robot networks so I don't need to worry about um, shipping items to different locations here. It is fun to do that kind of logistics with trains, but if I'm trying to be somewhat fast, I shouldn't really be spending that much time on that. Anyway, uh, good night everyone, or good day, or whatever the time is where you are. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. And until then, have a good one, and I'll see you then.